It is a dark day in Arizona. Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs blamed Republicans for the state Supreme Court ruling on an abortion ban for the case Planned Parenthood versus Mays. And while it is currently stayed, we continue to live under an unacceptable ban, a law that still strips Arizonans of their personal autonomy and has no exceptions for women who are the victims of rape or incest or any regard for pregnancy complications. By executive order, Hobbs said she's removing the ability of county attorneys to prosecute women and doctors for performing abortions. The White House also reacting. In a statement, Biden called the decision dangerous. So I want to start by addressing some devastating and alarming news from the Arizona Supreme Court. With today's decision, millions of Arizonians will soon face an even more extreme and dangerous abortion ban than they did before. Even some Arizona Republicans, including Senate hopeful Carrie Lake, blasted the decision. Many pointed to the 15-week ban that former Governor Doug Ducey enacted while in office. On X, he wrote his decision was thoughtful conservative policy. According to the Washington Examiner's very own Tiana Lowe Dosher, abortion may be the only matter that could impact Trump's current lead in the swing states. There's a reason why Kamala Harris is racing to Arizona to capitalize on this. Look, a recent Wall Street Journal poll of all the swing states found that Trump has a double digit lead across all the swing states when it comes to issues like inflation, the economy, foreign policy. The one area where Biden and Harris have maintained their lead is abortion. Biden blames Trump for the decision. In his latest campaign video featuring a Texas woman who suffered a miscarriage and couldn't get an abortion as a result of her infection, potentially impacting her future efforts for pregnancy, the ad ends in saying Donald Trump did this. While some Republicans say they're against the decision, evangelicals against abortion praise it. Brent Leatherwood, the acting president of the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, said candidates who claim to have pro-life views need to articulate a vision for a culture of where babies are saved, mothers are served, and families are supported. More lives are now protected today than yesterday. This morning's release of the Dobbs Supreme Court decision marks a true turning point for the pro-life movement. It is a turning point that we have continually prayed and advocated for. Arizona's current law used to rule the state until 1973 when Roe v. Wade was enacted.